So here we've got robots mounted on top of plastic injection molding machines at an automotive parts factory. The robots do jobs that are considered dangerous uh, due to the fact that these machines have got heavy moving parts that can crush you. They're also heated. They can burn you. So it's better to use the robots. In addition, the robots can more efficiently and quickly grab the parts out of the machine without damaging them. So let's take a closer look and see how the robot grabs the parts. Here's the end of the robot arm. You can see there's suction cups on it and they're supplied with vacuum. The mold opens up, the ejector pins pop the part out, the robot arm grabs the parts with the suction cups, lifts it up and over the safety cage and sets it down onto the conveyor belt where the operator will later inspect the parts and package the parts. I'm standing behind some supports for the robot and I'm in no danger where I'm at of getting hit. The robot can't move back here. So now we're looking down onto the top of the machine and the machine is a 390 ton uh, capacity machine. So it has clamping force of up to 390 tons. And there's two halves of a heavy steel mold that the plastic gets injected into. So you've got to have that sort of force to hold it together while the plastic's being injected. Here the machine's opening up, robot arm comes down, ejector pins kick out the part, grabs it, repeats the process. So let's go down onto the floor level. You can see there's, uh, looking at the robot from down below, there's looking inside the machine. And these hoses are for hot and cold water. They've got different zones inside both halves of the mold, and they've got to be temperature controlled. So we use water kind of like uh, uh, how, how your car engine's cooled. Here comes a robot arm, grabs the parts, takes them up over the top of the safety cage, and is going to set them down onto the conveyor. Engineers program these robots, all their movements, and find the most efficient timing for them and uh, placement on the conveyor. And the suction cups are adjustable because those parts are kind of oddly shaped. And there's their finished product, a 9.5 inch Ford Oval. It'll get uh, chrome plated and painted at a later process and then go to the customer. And here I am, I'm at the panel. I selected the temperature setting so you can see how hot it is inside the barrel. The throat is where the plastic pellets come down in. And that's, that's a lot cooler. Now let's go to the inject function on the panel and you can see the injection pressure and you can see in the pink that's the plastic melting and moving through the barrel there's a screw inside the barrel and it spins and injects the plastic into the mold and that's where what you're seeing in the red that's actually the the plastic passing through the mold and you see there's four zones and it's all controlled and engineered for optimum efficiency and quality of the part the plastic will cool very quickly, so there's, there's a whole process to it. The screw retracts, more plastic uh, gets into the barrel, heats up, and it repeats the process. Here we can see the mold open, robot arm comes in, ejector pins kick out the part, and let's look from another angle here. I'm going to try to turn the camera sideways so you can see the ejector pins a little bit better. See, they just pop it out, they retract, the mold closes, it injects plastic, repeats the process. And you can see my reflection in the machine. You might have noticed the roll of toilet paper there. Uh, that is actually for periodic cleaning of the mold. During the production process, they clean the polished surface. There it is. That, that's the polished surface of the mold. And you don't want to scratch that. Little scratches will make imperfections in the part. And believe it or not, the toilet paper doesn't scratch this. So when they use a cleaner on, on these surfaces, they wipe it with toilet paper. And here's the temperature of the barrel when the machine has just been turned on. You see nothing's heated up yet. So all you got to do is go down and press the barrel heat button. And it will gradually start to heat up. It takes a while to heat up. It takes a heck of a lot longer to cool down. You can see the numbers. They'll slowly climb. 
And there you go. It's just a little bit about plastic injection molding. I hope to do a few other videos just to explain how some of it works. Thanks for watching.